Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this tutorial, we will learn about heap queue in Python. In Python, it is available using heap queue module. The property of this data structure in Python is that each time the smallest of the heap element is popped and whatever the element is pushed or popped, heap structure is maintained. To convert an iterable to heap, we use heapify function. Let's look at the heap push and heap pop functions. Heap push function is used to insert the element mentioned in its argument into the heap. The order is adjusted so as the heap structure is maintained. Heap pop function is used to remove and return the smallest element from the heap. The order is adjusted so as the heap structure is maintained. Here we have this list and we are converting it to heap using heapify function. We are pushing 4 into this heap and here we are po popping one element from it. Let's run this code. We can see that this list is converted into a heap. On pushing 4 the heap adjusted itself to maintain the heap property and on popping the smallest element is printed which is 1. Next let's understand the heap pu push pop and heap replace function. Heap push pop function combines the functioning of both push and pop operation in one statement increasing efficiency. Heap replace function also inserts and pops in one statement but it is different from heap push pop function. In this element is first popped then the element is pushed that is the value larger, larger than the pushed value can be returned. Here we have two same lists and we are pushing passing 2 in push pop function for list 1 and 2 in the push replace function for list 2. Let's run this code. We can see that in the first case 2 must have been pushed in the heap and then popped. In the second case 3 was replaced and 2 was pushed in. Next let's look at n largest and n smallest function. The syntax for n largest is shown here this function is used to return the k largest element from the iterable specified and satisfying the key if mentioned. The syntax for n smallest is shown here. This function is used to return the k smallest elements from the iterable specified and satisfying the key if mentioned. Here we are passing 3 in both the functions without a key. So accordingly n largest function will print the 3 largest numbers of the heap and n smallest will print the 3 smallest number from the heap. Let's run this code. We can see that the output is as expected. So in this tutorial we learnt about heap data structures in python. We will continue learning more about python in the coming tutorials. Thank you for watching. Please leave us your likes and comments in the comments section.